Hey everybody, welcome back to Signals Trading Academy. This is lesson number 16, and today we're discussing trading imbalances. And if you haven't signed up for your free Signals account yet, guys, go ahead, follow the link in the description to signals.io, uh, sign up for your free account, and give it a test, see how you like it. You know, it'll make uh, understanding what we're talking about here a lot easier. And if you're already a free member and have been on the fence about switching over to our uh, pricing tiers, either the $19.99 or the $79.99, I would suggest at least just starting at the basic plan, which is $19.99 a month, gives you access to all of our time frames, all of our symbols, which are updated constantly, by the way. Uh, all of, uh, you know, pretty much the indicators minus the lowers, like the open interest, the funding rate, um, and a bunch of other things. Uh, minus the Discord and the uh, private YouTube as well. But it's a great jumping off point to see if this is something that'll work for you. And then you can obviously upgrade as need be. So definitely suggest giving it a try, guys, if you haven't already. Um, and if you could, please like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel because we're going to be uh, doing a lot of new stuff over the next few weeks. Definitely don't want to miss that. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So I've been getting a lot of questions about imbalance lately, um, and I figured this was a great uh, topic for this week because it was on my mind. I figured I'd save it maybe to the end of the sophomore year, uh, beginning of the junior year of the Trading Academy because it's a little bit more in-depth, but figured now is as good a time as any now that we're pretty much uh, getting into the, the home stretch of the sophomore year. And guys, uh, you can read these imbalances simply by when you see this line this is like RNG line over um, here that's a buy imbalance at this level they're red diagonally so you're comparing this stack one to the down to the right okay so you see how we have 65.4 Bitcoin traded at um, 20,140 roughly down to the right, we have not even a full coin, not even a tenth of a coin traded out. So obviously there's a big differential here, right? Okay, same for selling, but only instead of it being down into the right, it's up into the left. So you see here, we have uh, 214 coins traded out on the uh, for, for sellers uh, as compared to the top of this cluster, which was 4.96 coins. So there's obviously a big differential. Um, usually we, we like to do an imbalance factor by default of 20. So that's a big uh, spread. You can change that in the settings if you want. I'm not going to get into the super nitty gritty of all that uh, in this video for the sake of time. Um, so what imbalances really are, guys, uh, and this is also a five minute time frame, uh, just so you can see kind of how they develop in real time. Well, not in real time, because this is back, in, you know, few hours ago but in general it gives you a good idea of how if you're trying to scalp or trying to find uh, trade opportunities as they develop how this helps you quite a bit and um, what imbalances are at the the root of it all is they're uh, uh, either one or a group of buyers or sellers that are aggressively chasing the market in one direction or pushing the market in one direction um, you know Essentially, it's a good sign for momentum, trend continuation, or maybe a busted trend, busted, you know, setup more or less. And it really is a good way to get an idea of who's trying to take control of the initiative and how strongly they have a grasp on that initiative, right? And uh, when we see these things on five-minute charts, it's a good uh, indication of, you know, what's happening right now. Uh, and you can kind of piece together all the order flow and, and um, you know, price action context using imbalances because they're very, um, they're, it shows you pretty clearly um, what people, especially larger sizes, thinking. So when we look, we always read these things diagonally, like I was saying. So here we have uh, 65.4 coins uh, being traded out on the, uh, on the buy side versus one into the right, um, you know, 0 0.068 um, for the sellers, right? So we're clearly, and if you piece it all together, look here, you know, we see how, look at how the VWAP runs through the previous uh, clusters, uh, point of control. That's what this little arrow is right here, guys, the previous clusters point of control, which happens to be a buy imbalance. Uh, it's happening on, um, you know, relatively light volume, lightly negative delta, 
uh, and what happens, we start to get this slope increase here, right? There's not much happening at the bottom of this cluster, but all of a sudden we get, um, you know, a surge in activity, a shift up in VWAP, and as you can see, it gets a lot greener as we start to approach POC, which was a previous UFA. And, uh, you know, we, we see buyers starting to take control um, at, at what was pretty decent support, you know, going back a few days or so, uh, 20,000, 19.8, if you're following us on Twitter or in the Discord, we've been talking about these levels quite a bit. So somebody on the buy side was taking control of the initiative, pushing the momentum higher, and we got a nice pop of roughly, um, you know, about... 300 ish dollars 400 ish dollars here about three three hundred dollars right nice little pop higher okay vwap kind of crescendos up here and we get that that imbalance um again you know on the sell side this time so sellers are stepping back into the market and they're trying to what, what we're looking for here is to see if they can clear the imbalance out because what what and like i said an imbalance really is is somebody's trying to take control of the initiative push the momentum and the trend higher and you want to trade with that imbalance generally, right? You don't really uh, want to fade it until you get an inclination that um, this move is busted. And, you know, what we saw here was we got the imbalance at about, you know, uh, 2150 or so pumps all the way up to about 2350 ish or whatever. Uh, we start to come off a little bit, try to push, can't do it, get that imbalance. Uh, and we start to fall back. But look at this. We really couldn't clear out the previous cluster's uh, buy imbalance, okay? So now, in this situation, even though you had a sell imbalance appear on the next cluster, maybe this move was a little premature. You know, you had it on big vo well, bigger volume for a five-minute period, big delta. So you know that um, there was size coming in and moving this higher. And, uh, you know they wanted to continue this trend higher from where we were, which was around 20 and change, right? 20.1-ish, right? And if you look here, you know, we, again, we start to come back down, but can't clear out the imbalance. You want to see, like, if this was a busted move, you'd want to see this, um, this, this um, negative cluster clear this imbalance out completely. And a lot of times, you know, these imbalances stay open for a while, uh, they trade back and forth. This is honestly giving you a um, an opportunity to get long again because we can't get through the imbalance, clear it out, and ultimately um, you know continue lower. So even though you had the sell imbalance um, develop on the five minute, it wasn't able to clear out the previous periods imbalance. It happened on lower delta. It happened on you know relatively uh, you know like normal volume wasn't exactly anything to write home about on the sell side. And the imbalance itself that uh, started this move, yeah, it was quite, it, it, the differential there was big. But if you notice here, I mean, much bigger, continued higher, kind of just tapered off, faded out a little bit, pulled back, couldn't break through. We go sideways again, gives you a good opportunity. You can see a little bit of absorption in the area right around where the initial buy imbalance occurs. Uh, and we start to continue to grind higher, okay? Put in a UFA, our balance target for this five minute cluster, um, right around uh, a little above the highs of this previous cluster. Then we start to get some sell imbalance again, okay? We have 245 coins that were, um, that were traded here as opposed to 2.44 that were traded here. Can't break through the UFAs. Um, so we start to move down a little bit of a view off shift, get some more sell imbalance here. Again, you can see 285 versus 181. Now we clear the, uh, we get it again. So we're, we're getting that shift lower, okay? But we, we're not able to thus far up until this point to clear out the, the uh, imbalance that kind of started it all, right? So we're going to come back down, try to get some support and see if we can... Um, you know, hold there and get another opportunity to scalp long. What happens? You never want to see buy imbalances at the top of a cluster, okay? And you never want to see sell imbalances at the bottom of a cluster, okay? Because that's kind of a sign of exhaustion. Maybe you got a, a, the market got a little ahead of itself. And these things, as they appear, I'm using five minute as an example because, in general, if you're on a higher time frame, a lot of times these imbalances appear. 
Um, and because you're on a higher time frame and it takes longer for everything to play out, sometimes these imbalances go away because things start to naturally just trade out and the market uh, takes care of it before it's um, before it sticks. But on a five minute, if you're just scalping between imbalance levels, it really does work quite well. And when you see an imbalance appear at the top um, of, a, of a cluster, it's it's not really something you um, not that this was the biggest cluster in the world but if you look here it's like right pretty much at the top of this cluster okay you had two uh, previous three really previous uh, clusters of sell and balance all right and what happens you know got this right here in the middle more or less top of the cluster breaks down pretty considerably it happens at POC too which is not exactly great breaks down you get the sell and balance again up here okay at the uh, essentially the top of the cluster and now we've cleared out our, our previous uh, sell and balance if you notice we're below it so now we we took advantage of this rotation higher you know what I mean we, we got a nice little rotation higher you scalping between levels um, pretty easily uh, you get a good idea and it happens here if you notice on bigger volume okay decent Delta um, so those are like all of your confirmation signals that uh, you're you're getting a um, you know an opportunity to um, to maybe rotate through the previous uh, area of imbalance and get an opportunity now to kind of go with the market. So you always want to be trading with the imbalance for the most part. Um, you know if you're looking to go long and you see something like this, like an area of absorption that kind of just is uh, taking place over a good. You know, if you're on a five minute, this is obviously like almost like a, a half hour's worth of um, trading. You know, you're getting a lot of uh, sell and balance here. Not really any rotation through, though, to follow through to the downside. You got kind of flat VWAP. You get this little uh, buy and balance again, middle top ish. Doesn't really do much. Then all of a sudden, it happens right at the bottom. You get these two uh, levels of essentially dead volume and what happens is it starts to take off right we get that buy and balance VWAP shift we start to move again you know get you know a little bit of a uh, you know inclination maybe it's uh, starting to turn around okay but it pulls back and kind of stops right ahead of the previous periods of balance and these things work really well as support and resistance until they're filled in okay so that's something that you want to keep an eye on you know doesn't take it out so you you know you get an idea that maybe this is a good area for a pullback where you can get long again start scalping because uh, when you saw this you probably wanted to lighten up uh, noticing that you couldn't really get back above the previous cl five minute clusters um, top you know top of the candle top of the wick starts to pull back down v or excuse me um, pox shift lower but again stops right ahead of this um, this this imbalance where it all started and we start to pull back up and we start to see again you know we're getting more in balance getting more in balance but again kind of just absorbing it going sideways then you get the um this little cluster with no delta on it weak in balance starts to fall lower on bigger delta bigger volume clears out the previous uh imbalances completely even here right okay and uh from there you know, now we can, um, you know, we, we can either look for a continuation lower, which it looks like we're not really getting. Uh, if you notice, oh, excuse me, if you notice, you know, the absorption levels that we rose here from were around 20.1 and a quarter or something like that, one and a quarter. Couldn't really get below that. Obviously, the market's absorbing that area quite well. All right, again, same thing. Now we're getting a uh, buy and balance again at the lows of this move right ahead of the NPOC that was created um, here on this move down to clear out the previous imbalances. And we start to rotate higher. We clear out this sell imbalance. We clear out a UFA. We get a little stuck here at the second UFA. Okay, no big deal. You know, again, a little bit of a double top here, pull back. Can't clear the imbalance out, pulls back, pulls back, can't clear the imbalance out. And now continuation, right? Because again, we can't clear this out. So, you know, it's coming and looking for continued push lower, 
all right? It wants to push lower here. It, it, it's trying to clear this and balance out, but, you know, we have, you know, what? Uh, about 230, 40-something differential in buy-sell, um, in, in the difference between buyers and sellers here in terms of the amount of Bitcoin transacted. So we have vested interest in pushing the initiative higher, okay? We already broke through a UFA. We're trying to break through the other one. All right, uh, VWAP is for the most part uh, stable in this process. Pox are, are staying stable even on the pullbacks. And then, you know, we, we try to find that that uh, momentum to push lower, can't get it, holding, um, holding our um, area of where we initially got some imbalance and we start to pull away again. You see, just starts to pull away again tries to retest where we failed from up here in this level 23 20,350 60 can't really do it now we're getting a uh, buy and balance here at pock okay tries to do it break through can't do it tries to do it breaks through get people all excited can't break through balance out starts to pull back again and then we get another uh, sell and balance here but again, you know, it just, it, it can't really clear the previous imbalance out. It's trying, it wants to, but it can't do it. It cleared this imbalance out, but it didn't clear the big one out. So it's still trying to find uh, the momentum to break down or continue moving higher, right? So you get a good area, a good idea of what your range is that you can scalp back and forth and how... Um, and how the initiative is being perceived by size, right? So that's kind of what you want to look for. Notice how, you know, we finally started to, uh, you know, try to clear this guy out here. Couldn't really do it, um, you know, until we got to like right about here. We finally started to clear it out, you know, and then, you know, had a, a nice imbalance, but it was on no volume and it was divergent. So there's your clue. You want to see everything kind of happen um, fluidly with context and uh, you have some type of confirmation that what you're looking at is real. Notice how here, negative delta on this buy imbalance, low volume, heavily, heavily split or skewed to the sell side, okay? Couldn't really get up at all past the previous, um, you know, clusters, um, closing point at all fails at the UFA MPOC. And then if you notice this guy right here, you know, more, more buying than selling on the splits, nice Delta, bigger volume. This is what you want to see. Okay. If you were trying to enter that, uh, long there and finally it clears out. Okay. We balance for the most part. All right. Start going sideways, getting some absorption, but no real initiative, and there we go. Pushes lower. We're getting a big fight between buyers and sellers here. You have that, um, you have that that um, sell imbalance happening here, and a buy imbalance happening here, fighting for position, and then you know that's kind of indecision. You can see here it's mostly skewed to the downside. Okay, um, you know delta wise, big volume, so it's kind of like, for lack of a better word. Um, just a toss up of who's it's bulls and bears going for initiative who's going to win this fight for initiative momentum and trend right uh so if we notice let's just turn the lock on all right we're at current price now okay we've just been trading inside of this for the most part okay nothing really to write home about um you know you really can't scalp such a small range but the thing is is that you know, we see the indecision, you see the absorption, you see um, how we're kind of being capped by 20K, like bulls want to cap 20K, bears want to cap somewhere around the mid 20s over this past uh, hour and change period, you know, 20.5, 20.8 20 uh, seems to be it, right? And that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. So, this gives you a good way to kind of scalp on small time frames. If we went to a bigger time frame, right? Well, we can just go to an hour just to make it a little bit, you know, easier to go to 50. All right. And what we'll look for, let's just go back and find some examples. I'm doing this on the fly, guys. So you gotta excuse me because I don't have anything realistically prepared. I'm trying to do this in real time with you. Um, 
Okay. So look here, you know, um, let, let's use, there were some good ones. I know I went through them over the past uh, couple days trying to get good examples and kind of just my brain, you know, this COVID thing, man, I still feel kind of, um, kind of foggy. All right. So let's look here. Okay. We get some selling balance up here, you know, markets moving uh, up. We get some sell and balance as we get to the uh, to the top of this range, and ultimately, you know, um, not it, we diverge from it. Very, it, we we get some people trying to fight for for position. They don't want to let it go so easily, right? You get some some decent delta, decent volume. The it's pretty much split right down the middle, right? Um, so if you, you really hear it, it's tough because you know there is a big split here in terms of imbalance there is a nice imbalance that that uh presented itself but you can see that again like if you just look i mean there's a lot of absorption this is obviously in hindsight but there's a lot of um in or excuse me um absorption happening in this level okay so we we see sellers want to um to push this lower right they're they're trying you know you're getting them come in at we were just talking about 20.5, 20.6. You see there's a fight for initiative here, a fight for momentum, control of the momentum. And um, ultimately, you know, you have both sides capping the range, more or less. And as we move into the, uh, into the future, you know, and, and get caught up with the uh, current period, what you see here, okay, we don't get a ton of imbalance from that point. Um, what we do see is at this point, we do get some imbalance, okay? Big differential, 1,000 coins traded here versus a one coin at the bottom at a UFA, all right? Now, here's your divergence, right? This is this is what you want to be looking for, stuff like this. You see how you get very positive delta on a negative candle. Uh, you get big volume. You get this big shift up, okay? Pox much higher. We start to rotate now off this. Create that UFA and go. Try to uh, punch higher fades creates this ufa and imbalance and then you know we we start we start to run okay so we get a we get a nice uh ramp up and then here same situation you know you get like this indecision almost like they're capping range and we were also talking about this in the uh in the discord and on twitter 21.2 to 21.6 ish has been a lot of uh we've seen just sellers step in uh, in the spot market, in the perpetual market, and just start to unload as we approach this area. Um, so you get, you, you know, you, you see some of that. It's a fight for position. It's pretty much dead even. You know, you have that, that well, it's a little bit more here on the sell side. But in general, you know, you, you get the same, um, the same feel as you did in the previous example, that there's somebody trying to cap both ends of the range. All right, so this is also happening on relatively split volume. It's it's negative delta, but it's like you know, given the uh, it's really the imbalances being a li being a little bit more than um, the what do you call it the uh, the buy imbalance kind of doing that, but realistically, volume's okay. Uh, it's split for the most part, and it's slightly negative delta. But, you know, we couldn't clear out this uh, buy and balance down here at all. We kind of continue to go sideways to down. Then we clear it out, right? Now, somebody took control of the initiative, cleared it out. Um, you know, we're, we're looking for continued downside. And, and you do get this nice um, sell and balance at the top of the cluster right ahead of the balance target. Couldn't do it. Starts to pull back under uh, support of where we had that previous imbalance under the UFAs that was just broken here. Uh, and then again, continue to just move down. So we're getting that that initiative uh, and that continuation down. So you wanted to be trading with that, that when you got it um, here, you know what I mean? When you got it here, it was a little bit more, um, or excuse me, when you got it, um, yeah, when you got it here, it was a little bit more, um, it, it, it was easier to see we clear like here we we failed in in a fashion that that looks a bit um 
a bit better, like uh, in the grand scheme of things, right? You know, we were starting to clear out the uh, the previous imbalance here, gave you an opportunity to uh, maybe get short. You saw, or if you weren't short already, you know, you, you saw right around 21 that things were starting to go uh, a little bit askew to the downside. We get that sell and balance. We pull back. We clear out the previous, uh, like we've already had the previous support of the buy and balance cleared out, and we start to continue moving lower. So we're trading with it, and we got a nice little move, nice little thousand dollar move there, um, you know. And again, here we go, right down to um, about 19k. So it works. It's a nice way to trade if you're looking for you know, scalping opportunities or, or support and resistance or who's got control of the initiative and why. And uh, you, you really, it comes down to you want to make sure that you're paying attention to volume, you're paying attention to delta, and you're paying attention to where the imbalances are in the grand scheme of things. You don't want to see um, a buy imbalance at the top of a cluster. You don't want to see a sell imbalance at the bottom of a cluster. It just, it, it, it's not the ideal spot to, to trade in a direction that, especially if you have a move like we saw a waterfall, like, you know, over $1,500 from where we first saw that sell and balance start to play out and clear out support. You know, you, you um, at this point, we've moved $1,500. You don't really want to, um, if you see something developing at the bottom, a sell and balance developing at the bottom, maybe the move exhausted itself at this point. You know, you wanna maybe wait for more context, more confirmation. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, if you find this video useful at all, um, definitely look. Let's let's before we get into all that, let's see here. Because again, I'm doing this on the fly. I just want to see here. Right. Okay. So we we moved considerably from that sell imbalance. Like this was a great trade if you took it, and then we start to get a buy imbalance again, right around. We we fill this UFA out. Right. We get a UFA over here. Um, start to um move higher off of it right you know we get that little reversal start to move higher off it view up kind of uh levels out a bit then we get this here this little imba big imbalance not even a little this is a big imbalance uh you know and the slope starts to change heavily we break through previous npoc okay and start to move higher yeah Nice little move here, too. So you can see, you know, you get an idea of when it's happening, you know, when, when something's for real or not. Notice the delta, decent delta, decent volume, good splits. I, filter through everything. Make sure you're not leaving any stone unturned here, guys. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that you're, um, you're buying into or selling into a move that's going to continue and not or just getting started and uh you know you're not kind of off sides here a bit right so definitely want to check delta definitely want to check volume and uh you want to see the splits to make sure again you know if you have low volume high skew split wise one way or another or weak delta one way or another it's not really confirming what you're seeing maybe pump the brakes here and uh you know you got that nice move you got you know what was this 20.2 rotated pretty significantly i mean you got to 20 set to 20.7 ish which is a nice little scalp you know pulls back but it you know clears this imbalance out okay so you got an imbat the imbalance cleared out you know but again you know somebody wants to hold the floor around 19 8 20k um and again buyer step back in aggressively push it higher more buy and then let's see Good delta, good volume, good split. Um, and here you get that buy and balance again, but it's happening on weak delta and it's happening on big volume. And the splits are kind of skewed a little bit. VWAP shift lower. And uh, yeah, we tumble through it. So that's pretty much how we, um, we trade these things, you know, with context, looking to see um, if the previous imbalance from where we're entering into um, is going to hold support resistance wise where they're being placed on the on the cluster itself and uh, we just follow what the market tells us you know we're not looking to you know um, we're not looking to reinvent the wheel here this is all pretty simplistic stuff when you break it down to its uh, to its base 
you know, we're, we're just looking to see who's controlling the initiative, looking for context, like we always talk about what's happening now. Um, and ultimately, these will give you pretty magnetic levels to trade off of. So if you have any questions, that's what I was alluding to before I realized that we weren't all the way uh, extended to the right. Uh, let's just make sure we are. Yeah, we are. All right. So if you have any questions, go ahead. Um, make sure. And here, look, you know, you get the buy imbalance, right? It's like the second time I'm doing this to you guys. Sorry. <laughs> we, we get the imbalance here. But, um, you know, again, happening on negative, like significantly negative delta, big volume. Splits obviously more, um, you know, to the bearish side than it is to the bullish side, and then we kind of just like giga fade it through the UFA, um, and you know that's it. That's where we stand right now. So if you if you have questions on this, I know it's a lot to take in, and, and you know we wanted to go through two different examples on lower time frame and like a medium time frame, like the five minute versus the hour. Um, make sure you drop a comment down below. Go ahead. Hit us up on Discord. We're always in the trading channel, uh, the help channel, all that good stuff. And if you could, again, give this a like, um, you know, subscribe, turn on notifications, and make sure you sign up for Signals, guys. Try the uh, the basic tier if you're already a free member and been using it for a while. Just want to add a little more oomph to your trading. Uh, $19.99 a month. You can't really go wrong. And if you know somebody that you uh, want to share this video with, go ahead and share it. I mean, let's spread the, uh, the education as far and wide as possible footprint charts and uh, order flow, uh, auction theory. We want to get this in the hands of more people if possible, and we truly appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you have a great day, and good luck with your trading this week. We'll see you next week.